Mu'adh went to the Holy Prophet and said to him, Ya Rasulullah, I have all of these different creditors. I need you to be able to sort through my finances, what is left over of my house, my property, my horse, my camel, whatever I have, and to be able to fairly redistribute it back to those people who are seeking their haq because I have become bankrupt. The first thing that the Prophet ﷺ did was say to each and every one who was chasing that debt to Mu'adh, please forgive him his debt. If you forgive him his debt, I guarantee you a place in paradise. Some of those who were chasing the debts preferred Jannah over Dunya. And so they decided to accept the plea of the Prophet on behalf of Mu'adh. However, there were a few that remained staunch. No, we want our money back. But still, even these fewer number of creditors were still greater than the total amount of, Mu'awi, uh, of, of Mu'adh's estate. So Rasulullah had to come to them and distribute certain things back to them. It came to the point where now everything that could be distributed was distributed back to them. But they were still not satisfied. They said, Ya Rasulullah, he still has his house. Why haven't you given to us the house of Mu'adh so that we can take it and keep it for ourselves or sell it for ourselves? The hadith says, Rasulullah sallallahu alayhi wa alayhi responded by saying, In Islam, there are certain things that even if you become bankrupt, you are not allowed to lose because they are your rights. You cannot lose your house in a bankruptcy because Islam does not permit for you to become homeless. It does not allow you to be able to lose your clothes for this is your baseline dignity. Islam does not allow you for you to lose your food or even the things, your utensils, that would allow you to be able to cook a nutritious meal because this is a right. And the fourth thing that Islam preserves for you if you are made bankrupt is your books of knowledge. Because your books of knowledge that teach you your deen of Allah are still more important than the wealth that could be returned to another person. These are the examples of an Islamic economic system in the eyes of the Holy Prophet Muhammad sallallahu alayhi wa alayhi wa sallam.